Welcome to Spotlight. I'm your show host, Barbara Raglan, and today we have a very special guest, and she's going to tell us about all the wonderful things that will be happening in the town of Windsor. Her name is Jane Garaby, and she's the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce for the town of Windsor. Welcome to Spotlight, Jane. Thank you, Barbara. Glad to be here. Yeah, we're glad to have you. Uh, you make us all feel special. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we... Um, would like to know about some of the things that are going to be going on in Windsor. I know that uh, the Chamber of Commerce always has a big calendar every year and people enjoy it so much. So what do you have planned for us for the summer of 2012? Well, for this summer, we have the Concerts on the Green. Okay. They're going to be July and August. They start July 5th and run consecutive Thursdays. Um, some of the great bands, but we also have a group coming in that's new, the Beatles. And so we're really excited. They're sponsored by our businesses, um, which is huge support. In many towns, the town government has to pay for the concerts, yeah. but here um, our businesses do. And we're excited because we've participated in a reading program for the past couple of years as a partner, but we're taking a more active role this year. So on the town green, um, before the concerts, we're gonna have um, people around town read books to kids and they'll have different themes, et cetera, but we're also gonna do it down in Wilson on Tuesdays at 1.30. So it's gonna be a great um, uh, program to encourage kids to read. Will that be in the library at Wilson or where in Wilson? No, at Gosley Pool. Oh, okay. When kids are right. taking a break from the right pool the and are there, <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah. So we're really excited about that. Um, again, with the concerts, it's gonna be a great summer and we just gotta hope for no rain on Thursdays. Um, what time? The concerts start at 7 o'clock. The reading will be at 6.15. So it's a great thing to come. You can go to the Farmer's Market, which is right across the street. Then you can go to one of our local restaurants to eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Then bring your child to um, the Read, uh, read on the Green. Um, or just come yourself if you like to listen to books. And then you can stay with the family for the concert. So it'll be great evenings on Thursdays oh, yeah, in Windsor. Yeah. It sounds just exciting. Yeah. What else is going to go on? Um, well, uh, coming up in just a week from Friday is our Chamber Cares auction. Um, wow. It's our 28th year doing it. Yeah. Um, and we're excited. This year, WinTV is a beneficiary, and so is Community Health Resources, a nonprofit mental agency um, in Windsor. Um, so it is Friday, April 13th. It starts at 530, and it's over at Manili's. And the question we get all the time, Barbara, is, why is it out of town? Well, Manili's mm -hmm. is a chamber member and they give us a fantastic price, as do other organizations. The Marriott hosts our annual dinner, so we have lots of good businesses that help us out. Um, so we have a silent auction with lots of great food and then it goes into the live auction and it's a fun, fun night. And again, this year it's um, Believe in the Magic. Now, uh, how do you operate your silent auction? Um, what kind of items do you have for the auction? And uh, how do you know the people that are interested in the items? Do they have to put their name on something? Or how does that work? Right. As of today, we have 130 silent auction items. Beautiful. They range yeah, from getting your mulch to Geisler's gift certificates, Price Chopper, just all kinds of things, um, mostly from uh, Windsor businesses and Windsor Chamber members. Um, so there's a card and you have a bidding number. So you put down your number and how much you want to bid on it. And people keep going back and forth while they're walking around eating. And at one time we announced, you know, there's five more minutes till closing. Get your last bid in. And then the cards are picked up and whoever was the last person to bid is the winner of that item. Do you have to purchase a card? or is No, it it's with your ticket. It, would be it is $40 a person, mm -hmm. um, but that's for great food. It's free-flowing shrimp. That's what I call it because they... They just keep serving. Um, there's a um, pasta bar, a carving bar, um, all kinds of great foods. Mm -hmm. um, and just good time. It's a great feel. And you know that you're helping. The chamber is one of the beneficiaries, as is um, Win TV and Community Health Resources. Is there a low bid? Pardon? No. You don't have a, like, you can't bid less we than We put a minimum on. Minimum. That's it's, not, um, we put down, it's usually 33%. So if the value is $100, the starting bid is $33. So you can still get some bargains, you know. Sure, sure. Um, do. It's, um, you know, there's just, 
so many did. There's a lot of there's a sewing class in there this year that you can get for you know a group of people. Um, just many many different items. Do you um, have a lot of people that volunteer to help you with this auction? Um, the chamber runs on volunteers, um, <laughs> and Windsor is a fantastic town, both business-wise and community-wise. Mm -hmm. But I would say it's about 40 people that volunteer to pull this auction off, either pre or during um, the auction. It takes a lot of setup time, et cetera, to make it look really nice. How long have you been planning this? Uh, since last year, yeah, right after the last auction. The one, huh? <laughs> we already have... Um, uh, my chairperson is Bill Gombert. He's a retiree from um, Kanaka, Minolta. Mm -hmm. And he already has the next two for 2013. It's April 5th. And 2014th, it's April 4th. So we're already planning ahead. Okay. Um, Where'd you get that hat? Oh, that's part of our decor, which is um, Believe in the Magic. Okay. And we're going to have a magician there, Tom O'Brien, who used to do a magic show on Win TV many years ago. Um, he's coming in. He's going to be doing um, tricks throughout the silent auction. And the whole theme is just believe in the magic and share that magic, pass the magic on to others. Um, we also do, um, during the program, there's going to be a fund a need. And both Win TV and the Chamber of Commerce, the Chambers is internships for kids from the high school during the summer. And Win TV is to help sponsor kids to the summer camp. Mm -hmm. um, so there will be a part in the auction that you'll be able to raise your hand and just donate $100 to these two worthy causes. If you uh, don't want to participate in the auction. Right, even if you know you don't see anything you want, you, want, you can always yeah. do this or, you know, um, to do. So we're excited about that too. That's, is it formal, informal, casual dress? Well, hey, business casual. Business casual. Um, I've, even some people come in jeans, but it's dressed up jeans. All right. Not like you're going out to work in the yard, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it ranges from people very, very elegant. Um, all the volunteers will be using, our colors are blue and silver. So we'll all be dressed in blue and silver. Um, and just a great night. I'm excited, there's a 43 inch TV that we just got in today. Oh, um, yeah. You know, just some different things. Um, one is um, Griffin Land every year is the first live auction item and they do a safe or a backpack full of cash, but you don't know, you just know that it's over like $300. And um, people bid on it, and it always goes way over bid. Mm -hmm. um, we have a trip to the Topside Inn in Booth Bay, Maine. Mm -hmm. um, his mom, he grew up in Windsor, um, and he donates that every year. And it's also donated by Edward Jones, and that is a great place. And that trip usually goes way over bid, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's special prizes for people that are generous and donate over the price also. But that's a surprise. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. But would love you to come. I might. Yeah. yeah we'll have to it's talk to you. It's Friday the 13th. Fr my favorite day, <laughs> Friday and then number 13. Right to leave the house. <laughs> no. Um, so that's exciting. But we have lots of um, our annual dinners coming up in June where we recognize citizens, et cetera, um, and new board members come on board. And this year, and I'm going to, do you know French? Do you yeah. know how to speak? The I Spanish, don't either, but it's night Spanish. in Spanish, which is Noré and Paris. And okay. I know I just butchered it, but um, okay. it's going to be Paris. So. Paris, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's going to be All right. quite exciting. It does sound exciting. And now when's your annual dinner? Um, I believe it is June 8th. Oh, everything's coming up Yeah, everything's coming, coming quickly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it is all volunteers for every committee we have, just like yourself volunteering to do this for the Windsor community, yeah. that you have your show. Windsor is very yeah. um, fortunate with the amount of volunteers and people I that care. This. Yeah. yeah, I watched you the other It's Yeah, it is. It's great, yeah. you know. And you bring out the word about what's happening in town. Yeah, I enjoy that and what's going on around, the, you know, wherever. Mm -hmm. So, um, and always interested in getting people in that are doing things in Windsor or Greater Hartford, you know, that Windsor residents should know about or services that are available mm -hmm. for them that they might not know about. So, Right. Um, and they can go to our website yeah. for, like, civic groups. We have many great civic groups, yeah. you know, if you want to join one. And we suggest you go out and you visit each one, mm -hmm. you know, and see, because they do have different feels and different 
um, missions and passions. So mm -hmm. it's like, which one do you fit into? It's a great way, especially if you're just moving to town, to mm -hmm. meet people and to get involved in good things. Mm -hmm. um, but even our um, baseball leagues, you know, all those kids, the basketball, it's all run by volunteers, which, you know, says a lot about Windsor. It does, yeah, yeah. So maybe some way along the way we'll be able to, are you going to get it filmed so that, you know, you can put it on television? The auction, yes. Yeah. I was just working with Jenny to see who would come out and film um, part of it. They, um, Wind TV is also gracious enough to do our annual dinner, Very which good. is exciting because we've had lots of great recipients. We have a Hallis Award, mm -hmm. which is for a chamber member that um, helps the community and the chamber. Then there's a Citizen of the Year Award, someone who's not a business per se, but does a lot in the community. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Parker Award, which is for a business that's done something to beautify the inside or outside of their business. And if you go to the Chamber website, you can nominate. If you know someone that fits one of those descriptions, and you can see them better online at windsorcc.org, mm -hmm. you can nominate a person um, for those awards. And we're always looking, and we're going to be sitting down in a few weeks, so... Yeah. Um, a committee, again, that's all volunteer committee, made up of past recipients that get together and choose the next year's, you know, award winner. Mm -hmm. So. Boy, Jang, you got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, anything going on later on in the summer? Um, we have the sidewalk sale in August, um, which is always uh, exciting. It's around the 18th or 19th, I'm not sure of the exact date. Um, but Geisler's does a fantastic job. They do like an open air farmer's market. Um, our businesses set up tents um, and show their, you know, whatever their product is. Mm -hmm. um, so we have that and then it quiets down. We let kids get into school, you know, get to going. And then we have the Chili Fest in October, which is on the green with the Kiwanis. They raise money and food for the food bank because that's a time when people aren't thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And the Lions Arts and Crafts Fair is on another Grace Church um, has yeah. done in the past apple mm. cider and cheese. So it's a great, we're trying to build up the events we have and to support them. We don't need new events. We just need everyone to pull together and, you know, support the events and that are seems going as on. though they are. There's a lot going on. Absolutely. Yeah. Our Chili Fest brings in about 6,000 people. Oh, I it, know. It's huge. Maybe I'll go this year. I think Maybe I, you want to be a chili judge. Do you like I chili? Like that. Yeah, I love Would it. you? Yeah. I'll do You're that. on board. Okay. Columbus Day weekend, Saturday. All right. Okay, that would be great. Remind me. I will. I'll circle it. <laughs> I will. All right. I'm going to call. As soon as I get in my car, I'm going to call and leave myself a message to put you down on the list because otherwise I'll forget too. Okay. Um, but that it is. It's fun. I think you would enjoy it that. Really, you know, I think I drove past it or around it or something. I, I forgot where I was trying to go. I went yeah. to the post office or something. Yeah. And I said, oh, there's a chili fest. So. Yeah, I yeah like it's about that. 40 businesses and organizations that set up, so there's lots of different kinds of chilies and mm. to try. It's kind of like a business expo, mm. yeah. you know, and it's really kind of cool. And they all dress up and do themes and different things, so it's, um, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's just a fun day. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. 11th of October. Um, is that, it's Columbus Day weekend, that Saturday, that's which Saturday. is the second Saturday, I believe. Okay. I have trouble keeping all the dates, um, mm. you know, straight. Yeah. And then we host one that's really very different, which is the Wade Fair, Wade and Tea Fair. And Wade are the figurines that you find in Red Rose Tea, those little ceramic. Have you ever seen them? Are you no, a tea drinker? Drink. Yes, but not Red Rose. <laughs> not Red Rose. <laughs> okay. um, but you get these figurines. So we have a Wade Fair. There's only two in the United States. One's in Pennsylvania wow. in the summer, and in Windsor is the other one. We had to cancel this year with the big storm which was awful because we have people that fly in from all over the country and even oh, from England, et cetera. So, um, but our hotels were without power. You mm -hmm. know, everything was out, so we couldn't hold it. But that's also cool, and it draws from a wide range of people. So what happens at this Wade Fair? Um, it's just buying the Wade pieces. If, um, you know, you stop by my office, I can show you some of them. Uh, they're the figurines from the tea, but there's also, you know, another whole line. They have the Disney line. And they're just these ceramic figurines. And people come from all over to buy and trade. And we have someone that comes to sell from Kansas, one from Colorado, mm. an author that writes Wade Whimsey's book from Canada, and Paula Pierce, who you might have met or known. Um, she's our chairperson from that. She's owner of Hosting Connecticut website design. She does the Chamber website, too. 
Um, but she chairs that and organizes it and runs our tourism committee, which is made up of about eight people. And they do the Passport to Summer Fun in Windsor. And right now we're trying to organize bus trips. We're working with Okimo in Vermont. They have a trip set up for people from here to go to, and then we're going to set up a trip here in Windsor for them to bring a busload of people and try to get some of that interaction and people visiting Windsor. So now if you go to Kimo, Okimo, Vermont, it's not, not like this for all. It won't be skiing. It's no. Have other kinds of activities. It's going to be in July, actually, oh, this okay. year. okay, that's good. And it's two nights, and it's at a spa resort nice. in Okimo. Um, so you, if you choose, you can wake up and do yoga in the morning. Mm -hmm. It includes all your meals. Um, and then they have a lot of historic places to go out and visit. Yeah. And the thing is, they come, they pick you up in the bus, they take you. Everything's taken care of. You get to go for a luxury weekend. Um, mm -hmm. And it's um, a spa with healthy eating. And so just a nice weekend away. Mm -hmm. so, How much is that? Yeah, um, I don't have the exact amount. I think it's a little over $400 for everything all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. which isn't too bad when you think of a overnight, two nights, all your meals. That's a nice getaway. Your bus, yeah. It really it's is. It's the kind where you find a girlfriend or, you know, your mom or something and say, hey, let's go away for the weekend, mm -hmm. you know. It really is. So You've got a lot of different things going, going on. Going on. And we're just one. There's lots of organizations with lots of different things going yes. on. Yeah. You know, the Lions Club has their spring arts and crafts fair coming up. Mm -hmm. um, Shed Derby. Everything, yeah. you know, they've had the Lobster Fest is coming up. They did a fundraiser at the brewery. And just all the planning of all the civic organizations for the green and the parade. And um, yeah. that's an awesome time, too. It is nice. You know, Shad Derby. Although I've never ate, eaten a Shad fish. Have you? Yes, they're delicious. Are they delicious? They have a lot of bones. But what happens, my, um, every, I think it was, May 30th, uh, I had a West Indian uncle, he passed away, and he would wrap the shad up and cook it very, uh, you know, bake it very, very slowly. Okay. And when he baked it slowly, all the bones, you know, like melted into the, the flesh. Really? So that you couldn't taste them. You couldn't, you know. And they kind of like melted away? The, yeah, they melted away. And it is a delicious shad. Wow. It's delicious. It huh. really, really is good. But he knew how to fix it. You yeah. Know, everybody couldn't, but uh, we look forward to his He had a special his, recipe. Yeah, we look forward to his shed. I hope he, he left the recipe. Yeah, but who, no, who wants to do it now? Yeah. But, you know, his wife It's better when someone else cooks too. it. Yeah. But, you know, he did, you know, and he put different uh, spices and kind of vegetables in it, and he wrapped mm -hmm. it in foil and put it in the oven and cooked it for a long, long time. Because I remember one time I had shad, and I mean, you couldn't eat it because it was so many bones. Bones in it. But then when he fixed it, you know, we were kids, and as we grew up, we always looked for He had a May 30th mm. picnic. Yep. And uh, every May 30th, he fixed that shad. You know, they're big fish. Mm. And uh, They used to delicious. have it on the green. They used to, someone, one of the civic groups used to cook shad, so used to, but it hasn't been there for years. Yeah. But they do still have the tournament. Yeah. You know, you see everyone down by Bart's fishing along the river oh, yeah. and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good traditions in Windsor. They do. They have very you good know? ones. Yeah. That brought back old memories to Shad. The yeah. Derby. When they're still going to have the Shad Derby Queen. Yes, yeah. they're in the process now. Um, the ball will be coming up. Um, if you go to uh, WindsorShadDerby.com, mm -hmm. um, it has all the information up there. Um, and now the Historical po Society, because um, it takes all the civic groups together to put on all the Shad Derby events, and their house tour is now part of the Shad Derby oh, um, events. And so that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. You get to go in and see some houses, and um, you know, so go and to Shad Derby. Yeah, it's WindsorShadDerby.com, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to see all the different activities that are on the Chamber website, too. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of I remember of fun. Valerie Yu up the street. She was a Shad Derby queen one year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my daughter participated ago. years ago. Yeah. Um, she was second princess or something, but it was just a fun, fun event. Yeah. So. She walked up and down the Arrowbrook Road like this for a long time. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> hey, she hey, was fish queen. Hey, you know how the kids were on the street. Yeah. There goes the Shad Derby queen. <laughs> fish queen. Yeah, fish queen. You know, and then you go outside of Windsor and you talk about Shad Derby, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's like, okay, Shad Derby queen, all right. <laughs> yeah. What's that? But we love it, yeah. 
And so. it's a good variety of girls this year, it seems. Um, you know, this from Northwest Catholic, the mm -hmm. Loomis, you know, it's a good variety, so that's always nice, too. Yeah. Yeah. So. And that's really, dang, you got so much going on. No wonder you're so busy. Well, all of us yeah. are busy. Windsor's and just. You uh, enjoy it. And, uh, I do enjoy it. There's a I lot love my going town. On. Yeah. Just like you. Yeah, you know? I do. You I know? Do. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. We're going to have you over the chili judge. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have to try like 30 to 40 chilies. So I'll eat some Tums before I go to bed and when I get we up in the morning. We give you Tums. We <laughs> yeah. give you Tums. Oh, you do. <laughs> um, and we put grapes and bread and stuff to cut the taste in between because you don't just have to try a little bit. Um, um, no, that was mm. the coffee beans. That was for smelling. Okay. Yes. You know how they did that. Between but, perfume, uh, right? If you're yeah, smelling perfumes, you do. But not. Uh, I never knew what to do for the taste. Yeah. So well, we do clean, bread and grapes. Okay. Yeah. And beer too, if you like beer. Yeah, I'm not a big beer drinker, so but yeah, no. me neither. No. Um, but some sw say that that's, you know, good for cutting the chilies in between. Okay. That sounds good. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. So, Janie, you are, how long does your uh, your physician last? Do you get voted in every year? The, you know, your executive director. How long have you been the executive director? Twelve years. Wow. And mine's a staff position. I was hired for it. Well, I used to work position. for the town of Windsor. Oh, okay. And when this came open, I applied for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I work for an elected board that's elected by chamber membership. Okay. So I have a 14-member board. Paul Bagnini is our president, mm -hmm. who used to be on the Win TV board also. Mm -hmm. um, and Kristen Barbarata from Johnson Doe Barbarata. Barb Brown and Barbarada. Mm -hmm. She's my next president come June. So I get to work with so many different companies, Alstom, ING, the Littler, um, you know, Paula, Walla, uh, Hosting CT, different companies. Um, but they are elected and they get three-year terms. Okay. So, and Phyllis is um, my assistant and she's been with us, I think, seven years. Right. And we're a great team in there. And now we have First Down Downtown. Mm-hmm. So that's actually someone you should interview in the future because they're, um, they're reorganizing um, kind of under the chamber's umbrella. But Ashley's the one that does the farmer's market. She works on the concerts with us. They do Nightmare on Broad Street, um, the Torchlight Parade. So what is her name? Huh? What's her first name? Ashley. Ashley. Ashley Williams. And she's in your office? Or yeah, where she's is she? in. Yep. Oh, okay. And they also work with um, businesses. They're working on um, the transportation coming to the center of town. Yeah. What kind of businesses go into open spaces? Um, mm -hmm. So some economic development. And um, she's the only staff person, and she runs purely on volunteers also. Mm -hmm. I have a space in a couple of weeks. Oh, that would be call, great. Yeah. I'll see if I can call. Yeah, Ashley would be great. She, so just call your office? Yeah. And okay. I'll try to, again, I'll try to remember to call myself to let me know that you're going to do the chili judging and that you want to interview Ashley, and I'll see if I, you know, okay. so that she'll know you're calling. All right. I got to have some oral surgery. I don't know when that is. In a couple of weeks. Okay. I think it'll be, be so that's why I try to do it the week before. Okay. Well, you so. just let me know when, and um, we'll get a hold of Ashley. All right. Because she All would right. be, um, she also does so many events and so many good things. They just had the Taste of Windsor. Uh -huh. And it was held down at Loomis, and it was over 200 people. She had uh -huh. 12 restaurants donating food. It was so delicious. Mm -hmm. We were too much food. Um, but she had um, Bert's um, store from up in Windsor Locks. They did wine tasting of 18 different kinds of wines mm -hmm. and a brewery. <coughs> and it was a great night, too. A lot of people had fun. People like food. They sure do. I know. <laughs> That's why I signed up for Zumba. I got a little <laughs> Zumba. Yeah. 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 They have it here, right? Yeah. At LP Wilson Zumba yeah. through the rec and department. The ballet room. Yeah. I observed yesterday. I think I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun anyway. It'll be hard at first, but you work into it, yeah. I guess. You know. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> well, you tell me how it works out. Yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> if I'm still walking. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's getting dry. But Jane, I'm so glad you came. Well, thank you for having Is me, Is there Barbara. anything else you'd like to share with us? Nope, just that it's a great town, and we appreciate all the volunteerism. So mm -hmm. if you're not doing something, you know, call the chamber, call First Town, call Win TV. You Definitely. know, there's lots of places to volunteer and get to know people and have fun. Okay. 
it was so great to have Jane here. We learned so much about what's going on in Windsor, and we're going to have her back. And she gave us a lot of information. And before I close, I'd like for Jane to tell us the website to go to or which websites to go to if you want to get involved in some of the activities that are going on in Windsor or if you want to volunteer. Jane, can you tell us something sure. about that? If you go to the Chamber's website at www.windsorcc.org, okay. the first thing you can do is sign up for There's a Lot to Do in Windsor email that comes out on Thursday mornings that has everything that's going on in town. Mm -hmm. um, you can also, it has a list of the civic groups in there, you know, any kind of information, and it has the contact information for those groups. Um, or give us a call at 860-688-5165, and either Phyllis or myself will be happy to help you. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Until next time, this is Barbara Raglan. And didn't you have fun today? You learned about all the affairs you can get up, dressed up to go to. You can go to the auction. You can go to the formal dinner. <clears throat> you can go to the ball, and you can wear all those clothes that you have back in the closet and mm -hmm. take off the jeans. <laughs> so until next time, this is Barbara Raglan saying, be good to yourself and others. Thank you so much. Thank you.